Right, and so to every techie's favorite, some energy solutions. If you're gonna be off grid, you need to have some energy to power things such as computers, etc. But first some mundane stuff. Maintenance of the old farm gate. Poor old rusty thing. Yeah, a lot of my, the decision making actually revolved around the fridge because the argument was 12 volt versus 220 volt. Um, and uh, so I actually decided to, to, to buy this fridge, which is a camping fridge. This is an, off, an overlander type fridge for use in the, the back of Jeeps and that kind of thing, which actually supports 12 volts and I am uh, currently running it in 12 volts. I decided to buy one of these little kits and I absolutely adore it. That solar panel is about the size of an A4 page, three uh, LED lights and a little iron battery as well. Uh, it really, really works well. Um, battery charge on the left, on the right and sun on the, on the left. And uh, here's a little demonstration of, of how bright things are. They have three settings each of the lights. So your first setting is that one there and gives you 40 hours of brightness. A reminder to like and subscribe for more videos like these in the upcoming months. Next up was a bigger generator. This is a six kilowatt generator compared to my old three kilowatt for hey. welding purposes. Yeah. And Chris and I were like a bunch of little boys. We really couldn't believe it. You just turn a key nowadays hey. instead of the old pool star. Yeah. <laughs> we really loved it. it was that's a goal, as we say in South Africa. That means fun. Yeah, things have come along. But of course, the new bigger generator meant that I had to modify my generator box. Um, so off came the aluminium cladding, stripped it down, welded in some new inserts with the intention of a third um, opening flap for extra cooling. Um, they make these generators quite heavy nowadays. Can't quite see it in the shot, but I've actually got proper rubber engine mounts so the whole generator is now bolted to the, the chassis. Um, a new shelf for all of the flammables and the fire extinguisher, vitally important as well. This is showing some of the flaps open on the outside to for, for cooling. Wi-Fi! Got the guys to come and install um, prior to having my, my, my solar set up um, but it was something I could do so got the box ticked. So, some chunks of aluminium. What could this possibly be for? Hmm, the plot thickens. So these are the four feet which are bonded and stainless steel riveted to the roof of the container and uh, aluminium section. So this is me building my solar rack for, for my, my setup. It's not adjustable um, and it's a very steep angle because I wanted most solar uh, power uh, in, in winter. Now, can you believe it? You can use a skill saw to cut aluminium. All you need is a special uh, a circular saw blade. It makes a hell of a mess and a noise, but um, it's achievable. So essentially, I just ripped a, a square section and made some, some channels out of it, really. Easy peasy. And it finally arrived, my solar setup. A panel, a 400 watt Canadian solar panel. This I got off the internet from, from Revolt in Pretoria. And a lithium ion battery, that's a 200 amp hour battery. Um, and there's the, the monolith, as we started calling it, from uh, Space Odyssey 2001. That on the left there is the inverter for 220 volts. So I did decide in the end to go half 12 volts and half 220 volts. It's based on the rack for a second one, which I'll employ later. Um, for, for maybe an electric uh, bike and there's Big Daddy and Little Brother and even in these conditions I, I get plenty of solar with, with the, the, that proper angle. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please stick with me for more videos from the Green Africans.